spot. No one has ever scanned the QR code before. That was the smoothest border crossing that we've ever had. Now that we have successfully completed the border crossing for ourselves, we can give you a rundown of how to get from Peru to Chile by land. Step 1, get a bus to Tacna. So we went from Puno to Tacna, but we saw that there were other departure cities such as Arequipa or Cusco or Lima. But most likely you will have to stop over at this town called Moquega. We've just arrived in Tacna and we're at the Los Inca terminal. The bus ride itself was okay, not as good as Cruz del Sur. Much less space in Cruz del Sur. But uh, besides the overwhelming smell of human sweat, crying babies and oh people <laughs> and people watching <laughs> soap opera on full volume on the phone. I think besides these three points, the ride was okay. And uh, <laughs> quite on time. Yeah, surprisingly. Oh, only 40 minutes late. Not too bad for South America. <laughs> Step one of crossing the border from Peru to Chile. Step two, transfer to the international bus station. So after arriving in Tacna, you'll most likely be dropped off at the domestic national bus station. So from here, you need to take a cab to the international bus station, which is about five minute drive away. Step three, when you arrive at the international bus terminal, there'll be a stand where you have to pay an exit tax of two soles per bus. So that should mean step two. Anyways, step four, go into the international bus station and find yourself some transport across the border. So there are multiple forms of transport. Firstly, by bus, where you have to wait for the entire bus to be full before moving. Or secondly, by collectivo or taxi. It's usually five packs before the taxi is full and the driver decides to leave. Instead of waiting for the full five packs, what we did was we just paid for the entire taxi, which is 25 soles a person, and that comes up to 125. Step five, the driver will take your passport into the counter to prove that he's carrying people across the border. We were a little bit insecure about handing our passport to someone, so I followed the driver all the way to the counter. It's a cardinal sin for your passport to leave your sight when you're traveling. But this seems to be the normal way that okay. they do things here. And it's only like a five minute quick stop for the driver to get it stamped. Don't be afraid because this is on the same side of the border not while you're crossing. So very quickly, your passports are back in your hands, which is the most important thing. Right now in the taxi going to the border, and the border is called Chakaluta Border Complex. The border complex is actually pretty far away from Takna itself. It's about 30 minutes right. Step six, the driver will hand you a declaration form, which you must fill up. So don't bring more than 10,000 US dollars in cash. And don't bring any fresh food or liquor or coca leaves. <laughs> yeah, or they'll kill you. <laughs> just kidding, they'll just confiscate it and make you throw it away. Step number seven. Once reaching border control, they will do three separate checks for you. Firstly, vaccine check. Ah, vacuna, see. Make sure you have your COVID vaccine certificate with a QR code. It's really important. Number two, the Peru immigration officers will check that you did not overstay your Peru visa. Just passport. Just passport, okay. Hola. Number three, you'll reach the Chile immigration officer who will stamp your declaration form and hand you a receipt which shows how many days you're allowed to stay in Chile. I think he doesn't know how many days they can give us. That is a really, really, really important document. Do not lose it. They'll check it when you leave the country. Oh. Muchos gracias. gracias. Ciao. Step eight, you have to bring your luggage to the baggage inspection. So this is just like any other airport inspection where you have to put your luggage and then they will scan it. And you have to hand your declaration form to the officer over there. The nicest customs officers that we've ever met, smiling and helping you put the bag onto the x-ray machines. Step number nine, the bus or the car will also be inspected for illegal substances and then you'll meet up with your driver again to be transferred to the Arica International Bus Terminal. We've made it to the International Bus Terminal in Chile. <laughs> and that's it. Nine simple steps of getting across the border from Peru to Chile. You're in Chile! Woohoo!